Meanwhile, the Giants, a lot of bad news on the verge of getting swept by the Phillies in Philadelphia. Bottom two, Jimmy Rollins off Brad Hennessy. His fifth, a two-run shot. It's 4 nothing Phils. Top seven, Jason Ellison on third. Lance Necro. Kenny Lofton. Ellison tagging, and here we go. This will end the inning. The Phillies win 6-5. It's a top play nominee. Phil sweep the three-game set. They've won 12 of their last 18, while the Giants have lost seven in a row. The Cubs taking their six-game winning streak into San Diego. First to four with the Fathers. Top three, Jeremy Burnitz. That's him. This is still him. To left center. Drops in for a double. Glendon Rush scores. They wave Derek Lee as well in his 2-0 Cubs. Speaking of Derek Lee, he is way past on fire. Top six, Lee. His 1,000th career hit. He's got a hit in eight consecutive at-bats. He was three for three Thursday night walk twice. Just sizzling. Smoke. Thank you. Bottom six, two out. How about this for smoking? Lendon Rush gets Phil Nevin. A complete game four hitter. He struck out seven. And then look at behind the back. Tremendous. Cubs win 5 nothing at Petco. Chicago's won seven in a row. Tigers trailing 5-4. And Omar Infante with two outs, the base hit to center field. Chris Shelton heads for home. The throw is not in time, so the game is tied at five. Next batter, Demi Hook. Dimitri Young facing Cordero. Pops it up in foul territory, but look at Kevin Minch. Fighting the Suns, heading for the stands, but comes up with a top play nominee. Go to extras. Bottom of the tenth, Pudge Rodriguez on second. Game still tied at five. Craig Monroe. And he comes through. Pudge sliding in safely for the win. Monroe, eight RBI in the last six games as the Tigers win it, six to five in 10. Johan Santana owns the Indians, owns 5 0 lifetime against the Tribe and mowing them down Thursday at the Dome. Got Casey Blake in the first, Johnny Peralta in the second, Ronnie Belliard here in the fourth. Ben Broussard goes down in the sixth. Next batter, he brings up Belliard again. And in the eighth, Peralta for the third time. Santana allowed three runs on four hits in eight, walked just one, and tied a career high with 14 Ks. They go to extra innings here, 13th. Lou Ford is on second. Chuck Jones. Base hit, it gets through. They're going to wave Ford, and here's your ball game. The Twins win 4-3, but they lost Nick Punto, Justin Morneau, and Joe Maurer, all with injuries. Punto's headed to the DL. Eats, S-H-E-E-T-S. The Brewers and the Dodgers. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, bottom of the fourth inning. It's 3 to nothing when J.D. Drew tees off. Now it's three run Brewers. Drew's eighth home run of the year, and this would be his ninth. In the bottom of the sixth, a tie game at three is untied. He belts the two-run homer to right center field. Nine of the season, as I mentioned, as the Dodgers go up five to three. Top of the night, Derek Gagne into close, trying to work himself out of his own jam, and he does. It's Jeff Jenkins swinging as the Dodgers go on to win it by a final count of six to four. Gagne. Mets and Diamondbacks Thursday night, rubber game at Shea. Top one, Pedro Martinez, Luis Gonzalez, and the sprinklers are on. Yeah. Pedro didn't mind. He said water is a blessing. Willie Randolph said if this had happened at Yankee Stadium, George Steinbrenner would have fired the entire groundskeeping staff. Yeah, he probably wouldn't kidding either. Same at that. Martinez gets Gonzalez. Pedro K9, no walks. All six of Carlos Beltran's home runs this season have come in Pedro's start. There's some free agent symmetry there going for Omar Minaya. Bottom four, guess what? You got it. Solo shot is seventh, but Beltran says hitting homers for Pedro only means that he homers every five days. That's that's it. He wants to homer more often for more pitchers. Mets would take a 3-1 lead. Top six, Jose Cruz to right. Look at Mike Cameron. Rakes this one to right field. Cameron racing back on turnaround. Slip. Oh, he popped the ball. What a play by Cameron. That is unbelievable. Mike Cameron, what a tremendous defensive play. Plenty of support for Pedro, who was dazzling, allowing just one run on five hits in eight, but it wasn't all about him. You know, Pedro has not had a base hit since September of 97, 0 for his last 58. Bottom six, he had been 0 for 29 this season, and it's got enough. Base hit for Martinez. Mets win 6-1. Pedro now with 92 Ks. That's Thompson, the National League that Carl Pavano and the Yankees could be swept by the Kansas City Royals, the team with the worst record in baseball. Let's see. Bottom four, game tied at one. Mike Sweeney at bat and almost hits 
Pavano right in the jaw. Now he knows what that's all about. Remember back on April the 10th, Pavano facing the Orioles, and he does get hit in the jaw here, had to leave the game and went to the hospital. But take a look at what happened again Thursday night and how close it came to happening yet again. This thing whistles just inches away from his face. Pavano, Pavano would allow two runs uh, in the inning. Now, bottom of the 6-4-2 Kansas City after allowing a homer to Matt Stairs. Terrence Long takes Pavano deep to right, back-to-back -back homers. Long second of the season. Pavano only lasted five and a third. He gave up nine hits, five earned runs along the way as Buddy Bell's crew rings up the Yankees yet again. The three-game sweep. And get this, the Yankees have been swept in a series of at least three games by a team that had the worst record in the major leagues for the third time in franchise history. It last happened in May 2000 when Detroit swept three games from the Yankees during New York's first ever trip to Comerica Park. Prior to that, you got to go all the way back to Connie Mack's Philadelphia A's at Scheib Park in August of 1937. Well, when at Fenway Thursday afternoon and the AL East leading Orioles would take three of four from Boston, is that Johnny Damon and a new mustache? Well, you know, Wednesday night he had the full beard, the whole deal there. Yeah. The, the typical look. But then in the seventh inning, he shaved. clean shaven. So apparently sometime <laughs> between the free, other than that or he's got Bobby Valentine's a disguise in there. But <laughs> something's going on there. Ninth inning, B.J. Ryan in to close for the Orioles up 4-3. Had not allowed an earned run in his last 16 appearances. Gets Kevin Euclid. So there are two outs, a man on first. Next up, Edgar Renteria absolutely on fire the last four weeks. And Renteria absolutely gorgeous. What a bunt. 16 hits in his last eight games. Two on for Big Poppy. 3-2, two, two outs. Ortiz hits it in the air to center field. New hand back, looking up, it's gone! Ortiz and the Red Sox walk off with the win! The fifth walk off of Ortiz's career, his 13th homer of the season, salvages a split of the four-game set. Dotel could be sidelined as long as two years. Dr. James Andrews will perform a ligament replacement surgery on the A's closer as soon as possible with Dotel saying he's tired of pitching in pain from recurrent tendonitis. The issue here is four doctors have recommended that Dotel try the rehab first. He has decided not to. There's another thing here, too. Dotel will miss at least a year, possibly two. His contract is up after this season. Dotel said if he has to come back and play for free, he will do that. Sports Center Express rolling through more of Thursday's baseball highlights, including the A's hosting Toronto. A. Eh? Eric Chavez, grand slam home run. The A's beat the Jays 5-3. Cardinals and Rockies. Bases are loaded here. Randy Flores. Not as good as a grand slam, but, you know, bases loaded walk. Doesn't quite do it, but it's a run. Rockies win 8-7. Matt Holiday, 3-for-3, three three, hit two home runs. Marlins Pirates. Carlos Delgado, yard. Dontrell gets his ninth win, Major League's first nine-game winner. And a base hit, too. Well, it's time for the top plays, and we will begin with number 10, the Rolex Transatlantic Challenge. Robert Miller's 140-foot yacht, Maricha IV, broke a 100-year-old record, completing the passage 2,925 miles in nine days, 15 hours, 55 minutes, 23 seconds. You scratch my anchor. Number nine, the Memorial first round, Adam Scott. Four shot on the 15th. Ships it in from the rough. He's five under after one in contention. Number eight, the Braves and the Nationals, Jose Guillen. Look at this catch at the wall and right. Take that home run away. Plays like that are the reason the Nationals won the game by a final count of eight to six. Number seven, the Rangers and Tigers. Dimitri Young slices one foul. Here comes Kevin Mensch. Guy's a Mensch. Also a heck of a player. Yeah, he is. Tigers won six, five, and ten. Number six, Cards and Rockies, Albert Pujols. Shoots one down to third. Look at the stop by Garrett Atkins and then the peg. That's why the Rockies won it eight to seven. Number five, the Pistons and the Heat. Game five, first quarter, Ben Wallace meet Alonzo Mourning. Hello. Wallace on Eddie Jones. He had nine points, which was almost making him the leading score for the Pistons in the game. They lost big ten. Yeah, with Braves and Nationals, and does Andrew Jones do this like once a week? Pretty much. Great diving catch out there in left center field. Here it is again. 
deja vu all over again. Something like that. Number three, Spelling Bee, Anirag Kushyap for the win. Apogitura. A P P O G G I A T U R A. There, he gets the cup and about 28,000 in cash, scholarships, and stuff. Pretty good. Every little bit helps. Number two, Orioles and Red Sox. David Ortiz, the walk off homer off BJ Ryan as the Red Sox win it six to four. The Mango Salsa strikes again. Oh, big puff. Number one, Mike Cameron. Look at this catch in the Met outfield. Unbelievable. Cameron racing back on turnaround. Slip. Oh, he popped the ball. What a play by Cameron. That is unbelievable. 